Coverage continues now with CBS 4's Mike Cunho in Parkland, where mourners continued to gather last night at Pine Trails Park and more funerals this weekend. It's a quiet night here at Pine Trails Park, but dozens of mourners continue to lay flowers and light candles and remember the 17 lost in Wednesday's school shooting. Funeral services have begun to take place as well. Today, 17 year old Joaquin Oliver was laid to rest. At the Gardens of Boca Raton, around 1,000 came to say goodbye. Many of them wearing jerseys to honor Joaquin, who they described as an avid sports fan. All throughout his life, played sports, really enjoyed it, always had jerseys on in school, never caught him without a smile on his face playing sports. He was all around great kid and just brought the environment to a happy place. Like, it's just tragedy. As a community begins to heal, Principal Ty Thompson released a message on YouTube. On Wednesday, we experienced an unthinkable act of violence. In the two minute and 10 second clip, Thompson vowed to personally comfort each and every student. The love you've shared and continue to share is gonna help us get through these trying times. And Eagles, I promise you, I will hug each and every one of you as many times as you need, and I will hold you as long as you need me to for all 3,300 of you and your families, and we will get through this together. Meanwhile, members of the community are doing what they can to help those still in recovery. Blood drives are going on across town, including one in Miramar, where students from West Broward High also held a car wash. It just hit home very hard to all of us. It was right down the road. It could hit home to any of us. And I just tell my students that every day, you know, just show love, care. You know, even though we're rivals with other schools at this point in time, we just have to put everything aside and just come together as one. A bit of good news last night. Doctors from Broward Health North say the lone victim still in critical condition has been upgraded to fair condition. In Parkland, Mike Cunho, CBS4 This Morning.